I was glad, first of all, to receive the invitation for this training, which was particularly for CSOs, and I knew I would be able to get advocacy skills in this training, which is one of my major roles in my work. It is a very, very important training that has equipped me with the skills to do a lot of advocacy, especially lobbying the faith leaders to be at the forefront as far as advocating for climate financing is concerned, but also advocating for gender budgeting across all levels at national and local level. Budgets of the local government, some of them are not a respo gender responsive, but even during the training, the facilitator from Ministry of Education was able to highlight those key challenges they are still facing in, in having an inclusive, gender responsive budget as a person implementing a project on education, I will keenly follow up on that to see what we were taught, if it is being applied in the districts where we are operating. I had to come to gain more insights, to gain more skills in advocacy. I wanted to know more how the public finances are managed and I think I've learned a lot. I think oftentimes I didn't understand how the budgeting would happen. It will just be an event and you see the budget is being read in parliament. So in this meeting and in this interaction, I've learned that uh, it all starts at the village level and it actually begins as early as August. So as soon as uh, they read the budget at the beginning of the financial year, immediately in August, we have a new process beginning. So I think I'll go back to my community and I'll make sure that uh, I have my communities participate in those processes. I learned um, that I have to play a bigger role on uh, creating awareness, making sure everyone plays their part, but most importantly, see that I can uh, have people around me play their part as well to be able to say that we have a climate finance. I learned that we always have spaces where we can support or empower these citizens to also get engaged in that process. More so right from the village meetings, where we expect our people down there to air out their needs that need to be incorporated into the sub-county budget. One thing I'm committing to do is always following up on the government budgets and also attending those budget conferences and explaining to anybody else out there how, can they, how, how they can be part of the budget process. Because personally, I didn't know, but I have learned that I'm, I'm going to do advocacy for my friends to understand that in my circle. I really appreciate CSBAC, uh, the work you're doing, most especially uh, towards ad advocating for gender responsive budgets for this country. As participants of this training, through the training, we have gained a lot. 